Hello, I'm Luke Westway for CNET here at Mobile World Congress 2013, where at LG stand taking a look at some 4K streaming from a phone. Now this is some very interesting technology. What is happening here is you've got a game running on this smartphone. It's running on an LG Optimus G, which is a quad-core device. Uh, so it's got quite a, a powerful processor and it's running a HD game, but the phone itself is upscaling that to 4K or ultra high definition as it's sometimes called, and then mirroring that to the television behind me. As you can see, the result is really impressive. All the detail on the television is incredibly crisp. This is a graphically intensive game demo that we're running but everything up there looks really good and there's not very much latency or lag at all between actions you perform on the phone and what happens on the big screen. So this is all happening via LG's proprietary mirroring technology. It is putting a lot of strain on the phone's processor. I can feel it's getting very, very warm but it does seem to be able to handle it. So why is this technology useful? Well, 4K televisions are becoming a bigger deal in the next few years. You're going to be able to buy one for the price that you can get a full HD television for now. Unfortunately, though, it's going to be a bit longer before we find much 4K content to actually watch. It's good technology, in theory at least, but it will take a hefty toll on your phone's battery life. So here's hoping smartphones become a little bit more battery capable before this technology becomes widespread. We may not be waiting very long, however, because LG says that in the first part of next year, or possibly even late this year, we're going to see smartphones coming to market that have LG's mirroring, upscaling technology built into them. I'm Lou Westray for CNET here at LG Stand-Up Mobile World Congress, and this is some 4K phone streaming.